Hello, Desplorers! Welcome back to another informative video presented to you by Desplore, and thanks for watching. As you all know, it is always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but lesser known facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In this video, we are excited to present to you some lesser but known facts about the country of Gambia. The Gambia, officially the Republic of Gambia, is a country in West Africa that is almost entirely surrounded by Senegal, with the exception of its western coastline along the Atlantic Ocean. It is the smallest country within mainland Africa. The Gambia is situated on both sides of the lower reach of the Gambian River, the nation's namesake, which flows through the center of the Gambia and empties into the Atlantic Ocean. It has an area of 10,689 square kilometer, with a population estimated above 1.8 million people. Banjul is the Gambian capital, and the largest cities are Serekunda and Brikama. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Gambia has a GDP per capita of about $1,686 per year, and the official language of Gambia is English, but the most frequently spoken language are generally of the Atlantic branch of the Niger-Congo family. Mandinga and Wolof constitute the lingua franca of the country, and all the languages spoken include Pola, Sere, Diola, and Soninke. So without wasting much of your time, here are top 10 things you probably didn't know about Gambia. Number 1. Gambia is the smallest country in mainland Africa. Gambia is the smallest country in mainland Africa with approximately 1.8 million inhabitants and a surface area of about 10,500 square kilometers. It's about three times as small as Netherlands and, and almost everyone knows each other. It is a long strip of land situated on Africa's west coast and it's sandwiched on either side by Senegal, who is Gambia's only neighboring country. So if you are in Gambia, don't be afraid to ask after someone you wish to find about because the possibilities are those you are asking probably know who you are asking for. Number two, male companion or gigolos are common in Gambia. An odd feature of the tourism industry is gigolos, young Gambian men who have relationships with female tourists. Many in their later years, on the tourist trip, romance between local men in their 20s and British women in their 50s or 60s are common sights. Diplomats even report seeing gigolos promenading with elderly women on mobile scooters on the beach of Gambia. Some gigolo relationships become lasting and happy relationships while others end up in foreign and tearful farewell at the airport at which point the gigolos stick around to wait for another foreign girlfriend arriving on the incoming flight. Number 3. Gambia is an open and liberal country. Islam is the predominant religion in the Gambia, but the country is very tolerant, peaceful, and open society. The Christians and the Muslims live together in peace and even celebrate each other's holy days together. Many Gambian pray five times a day, and some workplaces will often have dedicated prayer rooms. Also, not only is alcohol widely available, they even brew their own beer. The popular and ubiquitous Jubro is the most loved beer in the country. Gambians burn over the beer most often in groups while they consume it, especially in the evenings. Number 4. Prisoners were executed in Gambia in 2019. With regards to the official execution in the Gambia, opposition leader Halifa Salah stated that the death penalty was only applied once since 1965 in the case of Mustafa Danso after the 1981 coup d'etat and was abolished with the enactment of Death Penalty Abolition Act in 1993, resulting in all those who had been sentenced to death having their sentence commuted to life imprisonment. But for reasons that remain unclear, the, the president suspended a moratorium on the death penalty in 2012 and executed nine prisoners by firing squad. While one story has it that it was to send out an anti-crime message, another has it that he was told by the fortune teller that a human sacrifice was necessary to stop his rival or train him. Number 5. Gambian's former president was a strange character. Gambian citizens has grown familiar with the unpredictable exploits of its absolute former ruler, who insists on being called His Excellency President Professor Dr. Alhaji Yaha Jama, from his claim that he had discovered the cure of AIDS, which were proven bogus, to treat to behead gay, not to mention the documented disappearances, torture, and imprisonment of dozens of journalists and political opponents. Then came the campaign so strange that the citizens are still reeling and seeking from it. The president, it seems, had been concerned about witches in the country. 
In 2009, more than 1,000 sorcerers were rounded up at gunpoint by the President's Green Barrette Special Guard and forced to drink hallucinogenic potions to exorcise them, accompanied by drums and directed by men in red tonic bedecks. With Miro and Kari Shells, dozens, perhaps hundreds of Gambians were taken from their villages and driven by boats to secret locations. There, they were forced to drink a foul-smelling concoction that made them hallucinate, gave them severe stomach pains, induced some to try digging a hole in the tiled floor. Floor, made others try climbing over a wall and in some cases killed them. Terrified, dozens of other people fled into the bushes, across the border into Senegal to escape the barbaric act leaving whole region deserted. Number 6. Gambia once left the Commonwealth. Gambia was an active member of the Commonwealth until 2013 when the country withdrew from the Commonwealth, stating that the government has withdrawn its membership of the British Commonwealth and decided that the Gambian will never be a member of any new colonial institution and will never be a party to any institution that represents an extension of colonialism. The Gambian joined the Commonwealth in 1965 when it gained independence from Britain. Although it remains a major tourist destination for British and other foreign holidaymakers, it has long had a troubled political relationship with its former colonial master. Its president said the British had taught them nothing except how to sing Baba Black Sheep and God Save the Queen. This decision was taken by the former president of the country, but in 2018, Gambia rejoined the Commonwealth. Number 7. Gambians vote with stones. Gambia has a unique way of voting for the president which is not like any other. Instead of ballot boxes, voters use marble to decide which presidential candidate they choose for their president. They choose their candidates by dropping stones in holes. In the 2012 election, there were only two invalid votes when people placed their marbles on the top of the voting drums. Number 8. The former Gambian president claimed that they found a cure for it. In 2007, Gambian's president Yaya Jamar announced that he found a cure for AIDS made from boiled herbs. President Yaya Jamar of Gambia announced plan in his New Year address to be a large hospital in the tiny West African nation, offering a herbal cure for AIDS to up to 10,000 patients every six months. With this project coming to fruition, we intend to treat 10,000 HIV AIDS patients every six months through medical medicine, President Jamar said, adding that he expected the hospital to open in 2015. The supposed AIDS treatment composed of a special brew of boiled herbs was first announced by Jamar in 2007. By the international organization including the World Health Organization, proved this were another bogus claim by the then president. The WHO encouraged the citizens to go back to their treatment, which most patients had abandoned in false hope of a cure. This created tension between the president and the WHO, but the important thing is that most patients were helped out of false hopes. Number 9. Color note is used to apologize in Gambia. The color note is a special note that you can use everywhere. You buy the color notes to show remorse. If you've done something that is not correct, then you buy color notes and give it to the other person as a way to apologize. More so, color notes can be given to elderly as a sign of respect. Gambians value respect, trust, and politeness. In addition to this, when parents go to look for a woman to pair up with their son, they also bring color notes most of the time. Number 10. Gambians don't like to be harried. Punctuality is not often observed in Gambia, and the business concept of time is money is approached in a very relaxed and flexible manner. You need to be very patient when you are in Gambia. People can arrive for meetings or functions up to four hours later than originally scheduled. A good idea is to first call to check if someone is at his or her office before leaving for the meeting or advise people to come on time otherwise you might waste your time. They even have what is called GMT meaning Gambia may be time. Don't be surprised if your 10 o'clock appointment will not be there at 10. There you have it the Splovers. Those were some lesser known facts about Gambia. For watching this video all the way to the end, here is an extra bonus fact. Number 11. Banjul is not the commercial hub. Although the Gambian capital Banjul is the country's best known city, it is not the commercial center. Serekunda, situated about 20 km from Banjul, is by far the Gambian's busiest city and the commercial nerve center. So there you have it, explorers. We hope you learned a thing or two about the beautiful nation of Gambia. Thanks for watching this video. As usual, you can add more interesting facts about Gambia that were not mentioned in this video, and the best comments will be pinned. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.